Hi, I'm Sue Castorino, president of The Speaking Specialists. We're a Chicago-based company that has been providing communications, speech coaching, and media training for the past 23 years. We're going to take you on a tour of our company and meet some of the people that we've been privileged to serve, along with some of the national coverage we have received about our programs. My partner Randy Minkoff and I have been teaching people how to handle themselves in all kinds of communication situations, including the ever-growing and complex world of new media, specifically the Internet and the challenges it presents. We have an interactive program that has been used by American Olympians, professional athletes, collegiate and university administrators, as well as business leaders from all over the country and the world. We are former reporters in all facets of the media, including radio, TV, and print. Now, because we are no longer in the media, all elements of our sessions remain private. Our sole business is to train individuals and groups to present themselves in the best possible light. So, let's get started. When we come back, public speaking for some very public people. The Chicago couple helping athletes make a good impression off public the field. Speaking. It's a fear for most people. Athletes are hounded by the media every day. Players may have the athletic skills, but not necessarily the communication skills. As Megan Mowick explains, a former WBBM radio news reporter and WGN radio sports reporter are working to change that. Athletes compete in front of thousands of people, but you would be surprised how many are shy or tongue-tied in front of the media. So for help, they turn to the speaking specialists. How to make a good first impression, how to say maybe 10 to 15 seconds more than yes, no, I don't know, can I go now? Because some of them don't like to talk. They all want to talk after they hit the game-winning home run. But as former reporters, we try to tell them, look, sometimes you got to talk to the you got to talk if you lose. Sue Castorino and husband Randy Minkoff started their business in 1986. They work with hundreds of professional teams and over 200 universities. Do you think the team may be not getting the respect it deserves this year? Um, oh, so, Sue. The other night, Kirk Heinrich was talking after a tough loss. Yet he was able to compose himself, stand with his arm against the locker room, and create space and allow himself to relax. Those are the types of little things that they incorporate in the media training that I think goes a long way. Sue and Randy's program enables our athletes to know to think about the answers uh, before they answer them and then give a great answer to the questions asked. Now, Randy and Sue not only teach the athletes about interview skills, they also warn them about the dangers of new media, especially Facebook, MySpace, and YouTube. There are people now who are making pages about athletes, sometimes claiming they're the athletes. Uh, basically just learning that anything that's on the internet could be at anybody's source at any time, so to be more careful. And then after the session, they'll come up and say, wow, I really learned a lot. And then we'll see them do a real interview. And they do all of the things that we talked about, and they're gracious and poised, and that makes us feel good. Megan Mowicki, CBS 2 News. By the way, Sue and Randy also worked with every athlete in the 2000 Salt Lake City Olympic Games. They also work with corporations all over the country as well. And we in this business know how important a succinct and insightful answer can be. Their bags for a long trip. They're not home again until Valentine's Day. They've actually played better on the road, so seven games away from the UC might not be as imposing as they seem. The Bulls are ready for the road, whatever it might bring, including the pre- and post-game media crush. For some players, facing the post-game media blitz is worse than trying to guard Carmelo. The Bulls are trying to help their guys find a comfort zone by putting them through interview training. The more they understand your job, the better they are at uh, giving you the answers and the time that you need for your questions. A local company, the Speaking Specialists, puts on a two-hour session aimed in part at why the media does what it does. They kind of educate us about, you know, what you guys do and, you know, why you guys ask them the questions you ask. And then they um, kind of, you know, showed us how, how we can answer questions and how we can prepare for questions and things of that nature. The audience really isn't the reporter. It's fans, people that might want to give them a job after they're through playing. Uh, other teams. So we really do want them to think beyond the reporter that that's not just the audience who they're talking to. Way to remind players that it's not brain surgery, it's just an interview. 
they do tend to want to sit back and see what you're about. And that's why right away we show some tapes, we do icebreakers, we get them involved, and we do tell them that we're here to help. You guys are doing a job just as like we're doing a job. So uh, we should give you guys the same amount of respect as much as you give us. The games are now part of history, but for many of the athletes, a new journey has just begun learning how to market themselves. Besides rigorous physical training, they also receive lessons on how to put their best face forward. Sue Castorino is founder of The Speaking Specialist, the firm hired by the USOC to train athletes in the fine art of dealing with the media, and she joins us from Chicago. Welcome. Good morning, Susan. How are you? I'm well, thanks, and so are so many of the clients that you trained. I think all of us were struck by the poise and graciousness that so many athletes showed in the face of controversy and disappointment. Michelle Kwan and Apollo uh, Anton Ono would be two. Are, are those two people that you trained, for instance? They are, and, and many more. We were very honored. Our company is actually my husband, Randy Minkoff, and myself, the speaking specialist. We're based here in Chicago. We were very honored to be chosen by the United States Olympic Committee. We spent the entire last year traveling all over the country and actually practically all over the world working where the Americans were training, everybody from figure skating to bobsledders. And we worked and we talked about what they were going to expect in Salt Lake. It was a little bit different than when they were on the World Cup circuit or perhaps when they were at national championships. Twelve thousand reporters they had to deal with and so the biggest challenge was for them to be comfortable in the interviews and to face that grace under pressure. Well let's talk about some of the major tips that basically you instilled in all of them and you know I might add that these would be these would be good for a lot of business executives to learn <laughs> as well because the first one is to be cooperative. Right and it's not so unlike we're over here at the Board of Trade this morning so I've been seeing some of my clients over here that I work with corporately. It's very the same, very much the same when we deal with athletes. We tell them to be accommodating and approachable. They don't have to say a lot when they work with the media but just to make themselves a little bit more comfortable. Especially with athletes there's a tendency to think on the public's part that they're a little bit robotical, that they spend most of their lives being very, very focused, and we want them to have personalities along with being cooperative. We want to talk about some of the other ones. Uh, think before you answer. I mean, these are people <laughs> whose yeah. lives depend on fractions of a second, but they have to be reflective to really put that best foot forward. Well, Susan, because they're so used to being focused either on the slopes or on the ice, then it's a little bit easier for them to grasp the concept of being focused, of taking that second or two. It's okay to pause. We encourage them to pause, to think before what they say publicly, because when they talk to a reporter, they're really talking to the whole audience. They're talking to everybody out there that's either reading or watching or listening, and that's real important for them down the road, because as you said, at the beginning. Now it's phase two for those who are going to be going on to be making speeches and especially to be making those all-important commercial endorsements. The tools of the trade used by media professionals may not seem very imposing to look at for the regular person, but put yourself inside the shoes of an FSU athlete and your perspective may change. Suddenly, the lights are on you and the camera is rolling. Questions are flying at you, sometimes from dozens of reporters, and you have very little time to think. All the while, your every move or hesitation is being caught by the unblinking eye of the camera. Well, FSU athletes have a little less to worry about because they receive training from professionals for these types of situations. We have had a long-standing relationship working with both the athletes and the coaches and administrators, getting everybody comfortable in dealing with the media, in dealing with the public, and in all forms of public communication. Married couple and business partners, Sue Castorino and Randy Minkoff, have been working with FSU athletes for the past few years. Both Sue and Randy used to be reporters, and they used that past experience to help athletes prepare for interviews. We try to have fun in the sessions, we laugh a lot, it's fun learning, we show some videotapes. We videotape the athletes in various scenarios, and, and they really enjoy and appreciate that. But don't feel like you have to take Sue's word for it. The players were more than happy to talk about what this program means to them. The training that Sue and Randy just um, put us through is, is real helpful, I believe. Just, it's, it's a life skill just to be able to talk to individuals. And um, it's really, it's really going to help me out a great deal, not only just dealing with basketball, but in my everyday